Elliot Smith, uh, who passed away recently, grew up here in Richardson. I listen to what he sings, and I listen to the, the chord structure and the, the patterns that it takes. And I think Elliot was telling you something right out of his heart. I don't think it goes back to any particular incident or any particular era of time. I think he was so sensitive to people that he was, he was telling us in his lyrics and the music uh, what was coming out of his heart, what he was thinking about, what he really felt. How long uh, did Elliot live in Dallas? He lived here from the time he was three in the Dallas area until he was 14. I think so, yeah. He was putting songs together, I think, when he was 10 or 11, somewhere in that neighborhood. He was a baker during the summertime when he was going to high school. He loved baking, and he worked for a bakery there in Portland. And I guess when he, when he got out of college and before he, before he started traveling, uh, he worked in a bakery again there in Portland. Wow. And he was telling me once, he said, there's a, <clears throat> there's a certain feel to it that you're creating something, and it's individual, and it's something you're doing with your own hands, and it's unlike just putting something together that somebody else has built. Mm -hmm. And he loved that feeling. I think that's reflected in his work, oh, yeah. the kind of stuff he wrote. Yeah. Trees had a, at that time, I, he can probably tell you better than I do, but they had a <laughs> 900 capacity and there were 960 there that night. Wow. They were on the stairs uh -huh. leading from the stage up and on the main stairs that led up the side to the balcony. Wow. <clears throat> he drew good crowds. Yeah. Of course, we stood out, you know, like thumbs. <laughs> Afterwards, a couple of young ladies came over and said, it's just so nice to see people like you coming to a show <laughs> like this. <laughs> We didn't tell her that we were his grandparents. <laughs> we let him think yeah, older people, mature people, <laughs> could enjoy this also. I guess he'd, he'd had, uh, well, he was with Heat Miser at the time, but he'd had another band when he was in high school. But I didn't, uh, I didn't know enough about uh, his kind of music, what he was really bringing out of his, himself to recognize that it would be nationally recognized. So it was after he got out of school and uh, was making tours uh, around the country and then uh, he was in uh, Japan, he was in uh, London, he was in Paris, he was making tours worldwide. Uh, and you know, you have to recognize that. And it was when that started, it was when I recognized how good he was to other people, not just me. And I, I learned to love the stuff that he was doing, not because he was being accepted by a lot of other people, but because of what it said to me.